morning. Just straighten this up a bit. This is a message we have heard from Christ, that God is light in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God, the recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. 
The psalm this morning is Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me up from the pit of roaring waters out of the mire and clay, and set my feet upon a rock and made firm my foothold. And he has put a new song in my mouth, even a song of thanksgiving to our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall put their trust in the Lord. Blessed are those who have made the Lord their hope, who have not turned to the proud, or to those who wander in deceit. O Lord my God, great are the wonderful things which you have done, and your thoughts which are towards us. There is none to be compared with you. Were I to declare them and speak of them, they are more than I am able to express. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but my ears you have marked for obedience. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you have not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me that I should do your will. O oh my God, I long to do it. Your law delights my heart. I have declared your righteousness in the great congregation. I have not restrained my lips, O Lord, and that you know. I have not hidden your righteousness in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and of your salvation. I have not kept back your loving kindness and your truth from the great congregation. O Lord, do not withhold your mercy from me. Let your loving kindness and your truth ever preserve me. For innumerable troubles have come upon me. My sins have overtaken me and I cannot see. They are more in number than the hairs of my head. Therefore my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those who seek my life to take it away be put to shame and confounded altogether. Let them be turned back and disgraced who wish me evil. Let them be aghast for shame who say to me, Aha, aha! Let all who seek you be joyful and glad because of you. Let those who love your salvation say always, The Lord is great. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord will care for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Make no long delay, O Lord my God. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share our human nature, so we may be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading comes from Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 18, to chapter 3, verse 7. What use is an idol once its maker has shaped it? A cast image a teacher of lies. For, it may, for its maker trusts in what has been made, though the product is only an idol that cannot speak. Alas for you who say to the wood, wake up, to silent stone, rouse yourself. Can it teach? See, it is plated with gold and silver, and there is no breath in it at all. But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. A prayer of the prophet Habakkuk according to Shigon, Shigoneth. O Lord, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe, O Lord, of your work. In our own time, revive it. In our own time, make it known. In wrath, may you remember mercy. God, come from Timan the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens, 
and the earth was full of his praise. The brightness was like the sun, rays came forth from his hand, where his power lay hidden. Before him went pestilence, and plague followed close behind. He stopped and shook the earth, he looked and made the nations tremble. The eternal mountains were shattered, along his ancient pathways the everlasting hills sank low. I saw the tents of Kushan under affliction, the tent curtains of the land of Midian trembled. The second reading is from Matthew, chapter 5, verses 27 to 42. You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to go into hell. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that anyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of unchastity, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, You shall not swear falsely, but carry out the vows you have made to the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not swear by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let your word be yes, yes, or no, no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not, but to all who received him who believed on his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, and from his fullness have we all received, and grace upon grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as on in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Amen. Today we remember Hildegard, abbess of Bingen and visionary, who died in 1179. Most glorious and holy God, whose servant Hildegard, strong in the faith, was caught up in the vision of your heavenly courts by the breath of your spirit. Open our eyes to glimpse your glory and our lips to sing your praise with all the angels through Jesus Christ, our Lord. This uh, is a prayer uh, by Michael Hollings and Etta Gulick. O come, Holy Spirit, inflame my heart, set it on fire with love. Burn away my self-centeredness so that I can love unselfishly. Breathe your life-giving breath into my soul so that I can live freely and joyously, unrestricted by self-consciousness, and may be ready to go wherever you send me. Come like a gentle breeze and give me your still peace so that I may be quiet and know the wonder of your presence and help diffuse it in the world. Never let me shut you out. Never let me try to limit you to my capacity. Act freely in me and through me. Never leave me, O Lord and giver of life. Most loving Father, we come into your presence praying for those that we know and love, for the communities within which we live and find our being. We pray for our families, for our friends. We pray for those who are living at some distance from us, even with the lifting of some restrictions in travel. We give thanks for the connections we've managed to maintain over this period of time by using various forms of technology. And yet we still miss that physical touch, the ability to be uh, present with a person. Lord, continue to work in us that we may continue to be a true reflection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray for all who work in agencies that support uh, the functioning of our communities. We pray for those who do tasks that uh, mean that we can continue to uh, have services like electricity, water, gas. Pray for those who work in the post office, those who deliver goods and services, those who work in our supermarkets, our pharmacies, petrol stations, and all the other uh, necessary uh, functions of our communities. Lord, we continue to pray for our nurses and doctors and for the support staff, whether in medical practices, clinics and hospitals. We pray for ambulance officers, for police officers, for emergency services, Pray for fire brigades. We pray for all who work in the public service. Lord, help them to be focused on the tasks that lie ahead of them. May they know the peace that only you can provide. Lord, we continue to pray for your church throughout the world. We pray for all of the denominations that they may be true witnesses to the saving uh, life, death and resurrection of your son, Jesus. 
We pray for the Anglican Communion throughout the world, praying for Archbishop Justin Welby, for the Diocese of Oxford in England and Bishop Stephen Croft. We pray for the Diocese of Central Gulf Coast, the Episcopal Church, and Bishop Russell Kendrick, and the Diocese of Central Melanesia, and Archbishop Leonard Dawia, the Primate. We pray for the clergy and people of those dioceses. We pray for the Church here in Australia. Pray for the work of ecumenical movements, for the Australian Council of Churches, and for its local form here in South Australia, Churches Together SA, and for the work of the leaders of Christian churches. We pray for the Anglican Church in Australia, for the Primate, Jeff, for the Diocese of North Queensland and Bishop Dr Keith Joseph. We pray for the Church here in South Australia, for the Anglican Church, for our Metropolitan, Archbishop Jeff and Lynn, for the Diocese of Adelaide, the Assistant Bishops, Tim, Chris and Denise, for St Columba College and its Principal, Leanne Carr, and the Chaplain, Joe Smith and David. For the Diocese of the Murray, Bishop Keith and Alice, for the South Coast, Port Elliot and Goolwa, and Father Chris Talbot and Cathy. We pray for this Diocese of Balocra, myself as Bishop, and for Jan, for the Parish of Port Augusta and Corn, for Carla Tanti and Joseph, Darren Hewitt and Rachel, Margaret Figgett, the people of Port Augusta and Corn. We pray for our partnership with the Diocese of Mandalay and for the work of the Anglican Board of Mission in Myanmar. We pray for the Bishop of Mandalay, David Nyin Yin Yang, Mary and Solomon, and for Emmanuel Parish, Kun Tong Village. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good, so that we may do his will, and may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever. Amen. Well, may uh, God continue to journey with you this day in all that you have to do. And um, bye bye. <laughs>